Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie. Today here in Australia, it's Christmas. Now, I don't know what Christmas means to you where you are. It has different meanings for different people, depending on what message, depending on what you believe in, what you've heard, um, wherever you're at, in your walk of the Lord. To me, Christmas, Christmas, means the celebration of the birth of our Lord, our Lord, our Saviour. It's family coming together. I'm trying to keep this video still. It's family coming together. It's camera. <laughs> it's family coming together, rejoicing, celebrating the birth of our Lord. I call it Happy Christ Day. And I want to say to you all today, Happy Christ Day. You may call it Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you want to call it. To me, personally, it's Happy Christ Day. Why? Let me tell you why. It's found in Luke chapter 2, verses 10 to 11. It's trying to keep this phone still. <laughs> All right. I'm going to read it out to you. I'm doing this video in between. Um, time with family, um, activities, and the things I'm doing Christmas Day here in my own home. I just wanted to celebrate our Lord Jesus with you. So I'm going to give you the verse why I call it Happy Christ Day. Then the angel said to them, to the shepherds, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which will be to all people there is born to you this day in the city of David a Saviour who is Christ the Lord. Today in my home here in Australia we're celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus. We're celebrating the birth of Christ. Thus I call it Happy Christ day happy christ day so it's celebrating his birth of course we don't know his exact date of his birth christmas 25th is what is everybody around the world is doing christmas um but we don't know the exact date of his birth we know the thereabouts you know we know thereabouts that when the the wise men went to see jesus he was already two to three years old he wasn't a baby in a in a manger we do not know his exact date of birth, but every day, every day, keep still, <laughs> every day, we celebrate him. How do we do that? By living for him, living for him, allowing his spirit to have his way in our lives and through our lives so we manifest Jesus. To release the fragrance of the knowledge of our Lord Jesus everywhere we go by how we live. Having the heart of our Lord Jesus, who was the manifestation of the love of the Father here on earth for us. And we learn how he walked, how we should walk ourselves. I think I might need to move the phone. <laughs> I have actually got the power cord running through me at the moment. And I'll try to keep this phone still. <laughs> Praise God. Isn't he just awesome? Oh, we've been celebrating him since early this morning and it's just after one o'clock now and we're going to keep going to tonight. We're celebrating him. We're celebrating him. Our Lord Jesus, who Father so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, allowed him to, to come forth from the womb of a woman, to live his life here on earth as flesh and blood, understand what we go through, died on the cross for forgiveness of our sins, shed blood for us, redeemed, ransomed, was placed in the grave, rose three days later, and in him we now have resurrection life. Hallelujah. We are seated with our Lord Jesus in heavenly places, in a place of rest, peace, and authority. Life eternal in him. We have his spirit sealed by the spirit of God, the spirit of promise, the gift of the spirit, Hallelujah, eternity placed in us, sealed by the Spirit of God for life eternal, because we're living our lives for 
Jesus Christ, the Anointed One. Every day we celebrate him by living our lives for him. Every day we come together and, and choose to honour him in all our ways. People see his beauty. People see the fragrance of the of the Lord Jesus Christ being released and how we speak and behave toward one another. Being walking epistles. <laughs> Not written by man, but written by God. Hallelujah, by his spirit. As we surrender and yield to the ministrations of the spirit of God who is with us, the spirit of our Lord Jesus, as he mends our heart, heals our heart, causing us to be whom we were brought forth to be in him. Delivering us of the things of the world and wrong, wrong perceptions and ideas about ourselves and what other people might have said about us, to be that incredible, precious, beloved child of God. You predestined us to be in him. We celebrate our own birthdays. Celebration of of the, the one whom God brought forth at his appointed time into this world for his will, his purposes. Life. He breathed life into us and brought us forth. Hallelujah. His child and Lord Jesus was brought forth here on earth through a woman by the Spirit of God and lived here on earth. How can we not celebrate his birth? How can we not celebrate him? And we should celebrate our own birthdays too. Celebrate our own birthdays. Celebrate the life that we have in him. And we celebrate our Lord Jesus by living the life that we've been given for him. For him. Crucified to the world. Living for our Lord Jesus. That's how you could celebrate him, live for him. So today, we do it every day, but today, more so, happy Christ Day. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever etymology you're using to express your day, you lift up, exalt, magnify, glorify the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Who was born, we don't know when, <laughs> exact date. But do you hear what I'm saying? Let's not get caught up in the exact date. Let's not caught up, this is how it should be and that's, that's how it needs to be. Let's caught up as a pagan festival. And don't do, don't do Christmas at all. Christmas means to me the birth of my Lord. But I celebrate him every day. How can you not? How can you? And I just think it's very special that at Christmas when everybody around the world is thinking of Santa Claus and all that demonic stuff, there actually are people who are celebrating his birth, who are looking and seeing a, a baby that was in a manger, who are at least looking towards him. Even as it's once a year, they're looking towards him. But we who know the truth look towards him every day and live our lives for him. How could so every day, happy Christ Day. Every day, happy Christ Day. Every day we're going to celebrate him. Rejoice in him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to insult our Lord Jesus, magnify him, that he be glorified through us. And thus the Father be glorified who sent his only begotten son to us. Such was his love. Jesus, a manifestation of the love of the Father here on earth. So, until this day, a child was born, Christ, our Lord, our Saviour. So, wherever you say happy holidays, Merry Christmas, wherever you don't celebrate Christmas, I say to all my brothers and sisters in Christ around the world, Happy Christ Day, this day and every day, because we've been given eternal life in him. Don't get caught up in all the differences of opinion. Just get caught up in him. Just get caught up in him. Came to bring us life and life abundantly.
stay caught up with him keep your mind on him love him celebrate him with your family if they don't know him you can celebrate him in your heart while you're talking to them and let them see christ come forth and how you speak behave release his fragrance let his beauty be seen everywhere you go the best you can in your walk with him christ-centered christ-minded christ-focused Christ, the anointed one, Lord Jesus, our King, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. <laughs> so God bless you. God bless you and keep you and your loved ones. He be gracious to you. His face to shine upon you. His countenance to be upon you. His peace to be with your mind and your heart. Remember, celebrate our Lord Jesus in your heart. If your family doesn't know him yet celebrate him rejoice we know today is not necessarily his exact birthday but isn't it just wonderful that we can just celebrate him every day but at least once a year really with your whole family if you can or even it's just by yourself wherever you are celebrate him all day let him be your focus now this should be all the time not just one day a year, but I think it's beautiful around the world at this moment, at this time. People are more looking to him. And there's a lot of people out there who are lonely, a lot of people who don't have family, a lot of people who don't know him. Live him. Extend love. Be a family for someone who hasn't got family. Be a walking epistle. A beautiful writing of our Lord expressing the love of the Father. Because Jesus was the love of the Father. Our Lord. That's what it's all about. Living for Him and allowing Him being seen in you and through you to a world in great need. So all my brothers and my sisters in Christ, happy Christ Day. I love you and I'm so thankful to the spirit of, our, of our, our Lord who makes us family. We are family in our Lord Jesus because of his spirit, born again of spirit, a new creation in him, the family of God, fathers, church, family around the world. We are the church, the body of Christ. Hallelujah. The body of Christ. Thus we display him reveal him jesus will manifest himself to us by his spirit and we reveal him christ the anointed one i can keep going but i've got to get going <laughs> i just want to stop for a moment and bless you and say happy christ day i'll see you in tomorrow's video god bless you bye-bye